To find the oldest tree in the Maritimes is no joyride. First, a quick drive down a muddy road, off the beaten track, hoof it for 20 minutes. Then another 20 minute trek through the woods. I don't see a path. Spruce and hemlock trees tower over us. The moss covered ground is like walking on a shag carpet. Key indicators, I'm told, that we're close to our needle in the haystack. Okay, there is yeah. nothing that tells me that we're about to see the oldest tree in the Maritimes here. So that's, that's it exactly. This old growth forest, what is, what is clear is that this, this forest has been here for a long time. We knew that it was old growth. We just didn't know exactly how old until we actually took more samples and studied it further. And then when we take more samples, we were able to identify that particular tree. As these researchers tell me, the oldest trees may not be where you expect or the mightiest. So which one of these is the tree? It's that one right there. So not it's an eastern hemlock that is 51 centimeters in diameter. So it's 530 years old. It's not quite at the top of the canopy, about um, 20 meters tall. The canopy is about another two meters taller than that. But generally in these old growth stands, the oldest tree is in the top third. It's not, it's not the smallest tree. It's not always the biggest tree. Sometimes it can be, but it's usually in the top third of the, tree, of the trees in the stand in, sort of, uh, in terms of diameter. It's not even the prettiest tree. Uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, John. <laughs> uh, to me, it's beautiful. Beautiful, maybe, but it is definitely old. It was chest high during the War of the Roses in England. Taller still when Pilgrim sat down with Native Americans for the first Thanksgiving. When Charles Darwin embarked on his famous scientific voyage, it has even seen worse pandemics than this one. The tree's age was determined by counting the rings on a core sample. At first, they were skeptical. And I didn't believe it at first. I was like, well, you got to go show Brad this, because I've, I've done a lot of coring and working in the summer with the department as well, and I've never come across a tree like that. So she brought it to Brad. He couldn't believe it, and it kind of started becoming a buzz around the office. Uh, and then I wanted to age it as well, just to confirm, and I got around the same age. So. Yeah, I really, it was exciting for everyone that was around that day. It really kind of, uh, we all had to stop what we were doing and take a look and really take it in to kind of believe how old it really was. What this tree had going for it, it seems, was that it grew mainly in the shade. It had to compete with other trees, so it grew more slowly. A tree ring expert at Mount Allison University in New Brunswick confirmed the count, and according to him, that's why it's still standing today. You wouldn't buy a piece of plywood that had two or three plies. You buy plywood that has, you know, maybe 10 plies. It has a lot of layers and it makes it strong. Same thing with really old trees. When they have these little tiny tree rings, uh, those rings are actually stronger. Like many of us who are no longer saplings, this tree is graying at the top, a sign it may be on the decline. The good news is this isn't the only ancient tree in this stand. We know that there is another tree in the stand that is 500 years old. It showed up just to be a little less than this, yeah. although we're confirming it, and we only took one sample, and we're gonna uh, maybe take a second sample and, and get the age confirmed. Uh, but there is at least another tree that is 500 years old in the stand. Though it may not be the prettiest or the biggest, this tree is a rarity, and the stand to which it belongs is no different. Only 3% of Nova Scotia's forests are old growth like this one, which is why these researchers aren't saying exactly where this tree is. Jean Larache, CBC News, near Panook Lake.